and it's fantastic to have support from across the trade union movement so thank you to everybody who's contributed and finally with impeccable timing <laughs> Wayman Bennett joint national secretary unite against fascism Wayman um, uh, thank you very much I must start off by saying that we haven't got a 21st century transport system. Uh, that's definitely guaranteed in terms of the way we <coughs> stop today. But part of the reason why I had to be careful was because um, yesterday, getting on the um, uh, train to go to the Leeds conference, Sabi Dalu and I were met by eight, nine BNP people on the train. They were waiting for us to get on the train. We had to get off that train. Then when we got to um, the uh, conference in uh, Leeds, and Yorkshire, a similar conference to this, it was attacked by the uh, BNP, tried to break it up on the ground. And I, I think this is, um, the truth is, we should be honoured, because they say we kept getting in the way of what they wanted to try and do. And I think that is a good thing, in the sense that they're afraid of the fact that we can unite enough people in order to stop them. But it was a clear reminder that they're not an ordinary party. No party does that. That's what's different about the fascists compared to everybody else that they set off to try and smash what we're trying to do. And I think the truth is, I've been going around for the last eight, I think it's about the last couple of months, saying how well we've done. Right? The truth is, there have been 93 demonstrations against the English Defence League. Um, they claim they signed up 46,000 members initially. They've not been able to centralise that into a street army in order to attack us. Don't get me wrong, the attacks on mosques and Muslims continues to go up. Um, and even when the arrest figures have come out, an organisation called Call Mama, the police reflects, said that lots of these people have, are influenced on members of the uh, EDL. And that's, that's uh, very important. And this building itself has been attacked by EDL members, in terms we understand they're a threat to all of us. But what I want to say is, in the run-up to the elections, if you've seen what happened, I think one of the reasons we have to make sure that we're not complacent about what, uh, what's taking place, because, um, you know, the PCC elections, uh, where the EDL stood inside um, Luton, and they got, despite the fact that the, I mean, Kevin Cowell knows more about crime than the police, because he's a one-man crime wave, I'm be careful what I say here, it's probably being filmed, allegedly, he's a one-man crime wave in terms of, uh, uh, in, in, terms of in terms of Luton, but still he managed uh, to get that vote. And one of the things that we're seeing is, um, we're, we're supporting a campaign by trade unionists, anti-fascists in, in Greece, um, which is a campaign against Golden Dawn. They've asked internationally that everybody supports them on the 19th of January, because they've said that out of nowhere, there's a group there called uh, the Golden Dawn. They used to have a group like the BNP, but they've actually been overtaken by open Nazis uh, now, and I think it's important that we support them as part of our campaign of exposing, um, exposing uh, links. And who has Griffin got links with? He's got links with those organisations that exist inside uh, Greece. And that's the reason why we have to stop him here. And one of the things they've said, they've said that in Britain, they've not seen the rise. Well, we have seen the fascists, but they've said they've been defeated, in parts, partially defeated. And it's the only European country by Spain that that's not happened. And I think the North West is a top target for the um, fascists in the upcoming elections and in terms of organisation. If you want to know what the fascists are doing now, they're shifting their resources to Yorkshire and the North West. And that, that matters. They went through a period where they tried to concentrate on the whole country. Um, you know, that's part of the reason why they tried to go to uh, different parts in the South, whatever it is. They're now targeting the North West for the uh, European elections. And I think when we talk about, we're face, going to face another problem. I know, we, I know that we don't usually talk about party politics, but we have to be clear about one thing. If at the moment we've only had 8% of the cuts, and they put in the rest of the 30% of the cuts, it's going to be an accelerator for the levels of disgruntlement, which could lead to an increase in racism. Because what they found in Greece was that the, the Golden Dawn had 0.3% of the vote, and they don't pretend not to be Nazis. You know, like these lots wear suits and pretend that they're not. They say we are Nazis. Uh, they will go around wearing swastikas, and they've been able to grow. And I think when you have a crisis attacking, and you know, attacking people, I don't. I, I think it's important that we make sure that we're prepared uh, for what's uh, for what's going to take place in the next couple of years, because we're going to go through a very difficult period. I think in terms of the attacks on on people and the attempt to divide people, 
And I have to say that the attempt of um, the Conservative Party have hired the same man that Boris used. Um, and I don't know what you feel like his specialism is, it's immigration. Right? And I believe that means that in the next election, the question of the race card is going to be pushed, pushed up there as a central, central question in an attempt to divide people. And we're going to face this, um, and we need to prepare ourselves in order to be able to overcome, uh, overcome what's, uh, overcome what's uh, uh, happening. And I think that the arguments that are taking place are very important. I was in Yorkshire yesterday, and there's arguments about grooming. Now, do you mean, I don't want to be crude about this, but I didn't realise that Jimmy Savile was Muslim. Right? Do you mean, I think the idea that we have to talk about the idea of what the whole idea of grooming is, the idea that particular groups of people are blamed for particular crimes. And I think there's been an attempt to racialise that. In Rotherham, one of the reasons why I believe the UKIP vote was very high and the BNP vote was because that card was played. And I think we're going to have to answer people's questions. I spoke to one of the social workers who was at one of the conference uh, yesterday about the argument about the uh, UKIP thing. One of the things they said was, if you ask somebody, would you play somebody with someone who said that they don't like a particular form of child? Right? What would the child do when it grew up? Would they thank you for it? The third person gets up. I think that if you look at the UKIP uh, manifesto, there is a problem about placing children that say they don't like multicultural society. They say that there's a problem. And I think we need to answer those questions instead of being on the defensive about them. I think if somebody said, I don't like girls, and you put a girl, you place a girl with them, then later on, a woman gets up and says she's complained about her treatment, I wouldn't be surprised. I think we should be defensive about these arguments. We have to go with the defensive about them. And I really want to um, really end up on a, a couple of things that I think we have to do. We, this, is, this election, I think it's going to, we've been very well organised the previous elections in terms of being able to stop this. I want to thank, you know, the different unions that have played uh, a diff different part. But we're going to have to go on, I think we're going to have to go extra, because I think we're going to, we can face threats from many different directions at the same time. And that means, I know the elections look like they're 18 months away, but we need to prepare for them now in each local community that they know what, that they're connected with us and why they have to... Uh, and, and, and why they have to, uh, why they have to re resist.